remember what I said about singing. I mean, I, you can't do it enough. So yes, I could tell you a bunch of regimental exercises to do, but I can tell you honestly, when I, when I practice, I practice the music that I'm working on or the piece that I, I want to play. I don't necessarily go into, and you can, you can go into say the Behrman studies and work on particular scale patterns that will help you overcome any technical passages in whatever key your piece happens to be in. That's important. Um, but what I, I do really hear um, or find to be lacking on a global level is the ability to sing and to emulate what you're singing into your playing. You're going to find that if you sing the music um, as much as possible uh, without the instrument, there's a natural way in which your air will be used, a natural way in which your tongue will accompany the air and the next thing you know, um, things that were difficult aren't difficult anymore. So I think that's a really important lesson for us all. I mean, I, I always try to remind myself to sing it, sing it, sing it. Um, I, I, I work through the overtone series on the clarinet all the time. So I'll start on low E and I go up chromatically to thumb F and I will play a long tone, maybe four counts of it no softer than mezzo forte, touch the register key, let the let that partial come out. So for example, low E would be a B. Hold that B without the register key for a good four counts. And then without, without a, a diminuendo, I re-alter my tongue position to bring out the fundamental tone again. So what that does is that makes me in control of the instrument rather than the register key, just touching it all of a sudden. Oh, that's how I play a B. No, no, the clarinet, we should learn how to play the instrument without the register key first and foremost. Don't become a victim to the instrument. You have to master the instrument by showing it who it's, who's boss. So always know that playing the clarinet, um, it, all of those other registers are controlled squeaks. And we just have to know how to control them. And every single note has its own voicing, right? So learning how to play the clarinet without the register key is super, super important. The last exercise that I will do other than that is a very, very soft exercise where I just have a, a sort of a sort of a, an exhale, a, a, a yawning type of very slow um, blanket of air. You know how sometimes when you hear clarinetists warming up, you hear them blow into the instrument, it's like, we're trying to warm up the instrument because it's cold. That's what you do. But while you do that, you give a little bit of an air pulsation on top of it. So I'm going. And I go all the way from low E up to triple high C. And about every seven notes, I have to take a breath because it's exhausting. But what I learn is that I am in control of every single note at the softest dynamic level, which in my opinion is the hardest thing about playing the clarinet is to be able to control in the absolute softs. When we play loud, it's a lot easier. I yeah, think. yeah.